So how does, how does inflammation generally affect the brain? Um, it's surprising um, that inflammation, even quite mild inflammation, can have quite marked effects on the brain. So in the studies that we use typhoid vaccination, this is a really mild inflammatory challenge, yet we see really quite marked changes in brain function. So we see, for example, changes in the, the metabolism of the brain, how much glucose it's using, we look at um, various other measures, how it responds to particular challenges. And other groups have also shown um, that particular immune cells within the brain appear to change their function. So inflammation, even quite mild inflammation, can have quite rapid and quite dramatic effects on brain function. So more specifically, inflammation can induce a number of different cognitive changes. So for example, we and other groups have shown um, that inflammation can induce, even in healthy individuals, a mild reduction in mood within about two to three hours of, of becoming inflamed. And interestingly, this seems to change the, the function of part of the brain, in fact called the subgenual cingulate region, that we know is implicated in depression. So inflammation can change the function of a bit of the brain that we know is involved in depression. Other areas as well, for example, inflammation can change memory performance. So a number of groups, including my own, have shown that even mild inflammation can impair our memory. This is a very subtle effect, but it seems to do it through changing the function of a part of the brain, the hippocampus or the parahippocampus that are involved in normal memory function. We've also shown that inflammation can affect a number of other different brain regions, so for example the basal ganglia that are involved in complex cognition and also complex motor movements are also affected by inflammation. The insula and the basal ganglia are two parts of the brain that have been repeatedly um, noted to respond to inflammation and appear to have an important role in how inflammation um, induces, inf uh, induces fatigue but also impairs motivation. So for example the insular cortex is a part of the brain that is believed to represent the physiological state of our body. So for example heart rate, um, the state of our our lungs and all of the other internal organs. It also seems to be able to represent the inflammatory state of our body. So if our immune system is activated, then we see an increase in activity within the insula. And interestingly, those people that activate the insula most following inflammation are the ones that experience most fatigue. The basal ganglia is a related region, and this is an area that we know from, from many, many studies is involved in motivation. So how we respond to rewards and other motivational behaviors. And a number of studies have shown that inflammation also changes the responsivity of the basal ganglia, the ventral striatum in particular, to rewards. So it seems that inflammation changes the way that we respond to rewards, makes reward things we normally enjoy doing um, less enjoyable.